Y'all, we got a scary one for you today. This is an extreme exposure trail that uh, it's going to make your butthole pucker. <laughs> Welcome to Hardcore Enduro, where it's all about getting out and riding the hard stuff. I'm George, the guy behind the mic, and today it's Kyle behind the bars. I'm out ahead of him on the uh, my bike there. And we're out in Rapid Valley, Colorado. It's a beautiful place to ride, and it has a couple trails that are just extreme exposure. A lot of fun, but they are, if you're scared of heights, it's very intimidating. So Kyle, he's been here before. Uh, I have not, it's my first time here. And he had told me yeah, about buddy. this uh, trail that is just an extreme, right along the edge of this cliff. The, the, the bluff here, it's about a 200, maybe 300 foot drop. It seems like it's a thousand feet because <laughs> you're yeah. way up here. Everything's tiny down there. But it's just an extremely exposed trail and it gets very tight, very narrow. Absolutely no room for air on this trail. So it's a bunch of steps and step oh, downs and it just gets narrower and narrower and narrower. And when I'm riding, I'm just right not there. focusing on the edge and just Number focusing eight. on my balance on the trail ahead of me and I'm treating this like I would a normal ride, you know, I, and uh, not trying to get psyched out Where about the, the huge cliff to the left there. And it's going to wind down. It gets, it just gets worse. Now there's a couple levels here. And the main trail is a couple um, slabs above us, a couple levels up. And of course, I, I come out here and we get out this extreme edge. <laughs> oh man. Fucking hairy. And I'm falling. There's tracks out here, so I'm falling. Someone else is ridden out here. <laughs> I don't recommend it though. Going back, I want to do this again. It's just there's no reason to have this kind of uh, danger while riding. I mean, that is life and death right here. So then it ends. It comes Yo. up here, and it's just that's the end of the road. So then we uh, got to do a pivot turn and we do a kickstand pivot. So I put the kickstand down and pivot the bike yeah. around on the, pick st the uh, kickstand to get around. So here's, we're backtracking now the way we came. We got cliffed out, so we couldn't, we couldn't continue. That's hairy. <laughs> no joke. So we backtracked the ways and we we're able to find where the trail went up a couple levels. And uh, now we're going to start hopping. We got to go one more level up to get on the main trail. So Kyle, he's on his older KTM 300. He has a 2017. 300 here. He's since bought a 2022 uh, XC 300 that he rides, and then of course I've still got my WR 450, still the old tank. Low. But uh, she gets her done, you know. I, I like it. I guess I'm just used to it. Yeah, there's the level. We got to get up to that level, and it's just really slabby rocks here, and it just you know it's in your your head, you, just, you don't want to fall back. It's up there, just to the left right there, that's where we got cliffed out. So we're, if you were to look over the ledge right now, that's where we would have turned around. And this is the, we get cliffed out again here, so we gotta backtrack a little bit, coming back and able to get up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... Didn't quite have enough pop. This was this ride was 2020. I watch myself and you know <laughs> I feel like I've improved so much from when I was riding here. Granted, I had smashed my thumb really bad before this um, this ride the uh, weekend prior. I was using a sledgehammer trying to hit an axle out of a, uh, a chisel, a big ripper that goes through the fields and, and whips up the roots. Anyways. 
totally smashed my thumb all to hell. And so I'm not able to close my hand and grip my handlebars as good as I should. And I'm just that from that I'm having to sit a lot because I can't put pressure in my hand. But Kyle, he's going to cut me no slack. He's going to be on my ass the whole time for sitting down. <laughs> he, li he likes to stand. He stands almost in the entire ride of every ride he's ever been on. So, you know, that's, he's really good at it. He's very comfortable with that. And uh, I'm looking back, you know, and I know my hand's injured, but I do, a, I do a quite a bit more standing now. Yeah, navigating even the technical stuff, I, I try to, you know, I sit when I need to sit to rest, and then I stand when I need to stand. That's my philosophy. And this trail had that one extreme cliff area. It's going to have a couple more coming up, and you, there's several um, spots where you can go get a photo shoot if you want to just ride to the edge and take a couple of photos. It's beautiful. You look to the left, there's this big canyon of uh, the Colorado River that runs through there. There's just several places that are just beautiful photo uh, stops so you can take a picture. We're going to pop out here in one of them, I think right here, pop over there. It's just gorgeous. you got this panoramic, all the, the canyons all around. It's such a unique spot. You know, Rabbit Valley, they, they have a couple, they have a lot of rock trails for like Jeeps and stuff like that. And then they have a couple uh, single track trails that are just really awesome. Um, I did a Trail 8. I did a, posted a video on that already. We did that at night. So we did this during the day, and then we did a Trail 8, which is, they call it a Black Diamond. And we did that at night when, I think that was the way to go. Because during the day, I would have said that's just like a blue, just an average trail. It is a lot of fun, don't get me wrong. It's, it's very flowy. It does have a couple little obstacles to get through, but at night, it definitely was a Black Diamond. <laughs> So, uh, I, we, we had a good time that night. So this rim trail wraps around, just keeps going along the edge of this bluff here. Very fast and flowy. Here's Kyle. I mean, Kyle's pretty good. I'm behind lagging. But Kyle's able to just, you know, whip, you know, zig and zag through the turns here. Really nice. off the left, those deep canyons there so you can see that that drop off it's impressive I mean, it, it actually looks good on camera here usually the camera doesn't show how impressive things are but it looks pretty good on the camera I'm telling you when you're there it looks like I mean it could be a thousand feet if you said that was a thousand foot drop I would believe you, you know? <laughs> I did look at uh, the topo map and it's about 200 to maybe 300 feet in some spots All these big boulders, just so cool going through. Uh, we didn't see, there was a lot of riders the day before. I think we're riding during a weekday. Can't remember what day we're riding on. Um, the main staging area, everyone parks right at the, right off the freeway. Look at that, that's so cool. At uh, the staging area, we drove in a little bit more. They have some nice big clearings. And we're able to park the rig there. Camp there, just a, just an awesome spot. So. I really enjoyed Rapid Valley. There's two spots. You got the um, south side of the freeway. There's also a lot of single track on the north side that we didn't get to. We'll, when we come back someday, we'll get to that. Yeah, Kyle, you're welcome. I gave you a lot of breathers yeah, having to stop and wait for yeah. me. You're, you got to rest. Well, I never got to rest. Trail is a real popular trail, so a lot of the rocks have been moved out of the way, which is nice. You know, you can keep your speed up, so you can zip through this trail pretty quick. Get to the end, you can go all the way down to the Colorado River from there, and uh, we did that. Jumped in the jumped in the water, and then they have several single tracks down below the bluff that you can go right on. I ride some of the trails go right up next to the bluff. It's really cool. 
I recommend it. Yeah, this, this is a good spot to come ride. Yeah, I'm coming in with a little shortcut. <laughs> Gotta shave some time off. You should have cut that way anyways. And there's a ton of people doing that. I wasn't too far behind him. That seems like a lot, but you know, waiting 30 seconds for me to catch up, that's not that much. kicked out by a rock right there. <laughs> that would be a bad day. You can see the canyon down to the left there. It's just beautiful. So the trail goes on for quite a bit along the uh, rim here. A couple of obstacles that you got to go up, a couple of ledges. It's uh, a lot of fun. It's still pretty fast and flowy. And then there's side routes. You can get up different points if you're done riding. You can go up and back to the staging area. But uh, this is Kyle's footage, that's about all he got, so credit to him for taking it. Uh, it was a lot of fun. We've got another one coming out, we're going to do Trail 8 at night, so that will be coming out soon. Until then, get out, ride, and get some. Yeah.